Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Did you know Google can help with your math homework? Here are five Google math tricks you must try. Number one, use Google's built-in calculator. If you go to Google and type in the word calculator, the result will be a scientific calculator. You can use the keypad to do basic arithmetic. For example, 12 times 13 is equal to 156. But you can also use the keypad for more complicated calculations, like the sine of pi over 2 radians is equal to 1. But you're not just limited to this keypad. You can also use natural language searches. For example, let's say you wanted to evaluate sine of 90 degrees. You can simply type in that search and the result will be equal to 1, and Google's calculator will automatically convert from radians to degrees. You can use natural language for other things, like 10 choose 3. No need to fumble around with factorials and division symbols, you just get that 10 choose 3 is equal to 120. It's very convenient to use natural language. You can also use Google Calculator to do more complex calculations. For example, i squared is equal to negative 1. We can do other complex calculations like i to the power of i, we get the principal value of approximately 0.208. And it's really interesting that this is a real number value for an imaginary number raised to an imaginary number. I also like to use Google's calculator to resolve internet debates. 6 divided by 2 parentheses 1 plus 2 will give you the correct answer of 9. You can also use Google's calculator to experiment. Normally, factorials, we would think of only inputting whole number values. But if you put in 0.5 exclamation point, you get the result of about 0.886. And this is exactly equal to the square root of pi divided by 2. And if you're curious about why, I've made a separate video on that topic. But Google's calculator will solve many problems and it'll also allow you to experiment. And the second trick is to use Google to graph functions. You're not just limited to this keypad, you can also get visualizations. Here's the graph of sine of x. You get a two-dimensional plot, and this is pretty standard. But we're not just limited to two-dimensional plots in Google. We can type in a graph which has a three-dimensional plot. Here is the graph of sine of x plus cosine of y. We get this beautiful plot that rotates around, and we can actually understand the shape of this surface just from a Google search. It's incredible. Here's another incredible shape that we can find just in Google search. You should experiment, and you might even find some heartwarming graphs. And that brings me to the next trick, which is a little more standard, but you can use Google to convert units. Here's one example. You can convert 1 million in decimal into binary, and Google naturally will give you the result. But you can do more than just number bases. Here's an example of converting physical units. Convert 75 Fahrenheit to Celsius, and we get that 75 Fahrenheit is approximately 23.9 Celsius, and Google even gives you the formula for how this works. Another example of converting units, which I use all the time in cooking, is let's say you wanted to convert one ounce into grams. You'll get the result of about 28.3 grams. So you can convert physical units, but you can also do more interesting things like convert currency. Type in convert one USD to INR, and you get that one United States dollar is about 73.8 Indian rupees. You get a quote of the spot price. The fourth thing you can do with Google is you can use it to split the bill. If you type in tip calculator, you get this nice little calculation. Type in the bill amount, the percentage tip you want to give, and the number of people who are dining. You get the calculation of the tip per person and the total that each person needs to pay if you're splitting the bill evenly. Now there's no excuse for people splitting the bill fairly. The fifth tip is to use Google to get a random number. Sometimes you might just need to flip a coin. Type in flip a coin and you'll get a result of heads or tails. 
If you need more outcomes, you can roll a dice, and Google will give you one of the six equally likely outcomes. But what if you need more than just six outcomes? Or what if you need five or ten? You can also type in generate a random number. You can type in a minimum and a maximum value, and Google will generate a random number between the minimum and maximum. And if all of this hasn't brought you tremendous joy, you can also use Google to get the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So these are a few of my favorite math tricks. What are yours? Thanks for watching. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.